Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. There are a number of reasons why I'm opposed to this bill, and many of them have been outlined by my colleagues. However, there is one that's extremely personal that I do want to share with you. Um, this bill is unclear at best about voting by mail. So, approximately 20,000 Minnesotans who serve in the armed forces overseas have ambiguous chances at, at voting, not to mention foreign service officers, business people, students, missionaries, the list goes on and I'm here for them. I have a personal story to tell you. Um, from 1961 to 1986, my parents lived overseas uh, in service to our government. That's 25 years. When they lived in Afghanistan, they wanted to vote. When they lived in Iran, they wanted to vote. When they lived in India, they wanted to vote. Here, of course. When they lived in Morocco, they wanted to vote. When they lived in Brazil, they wanted to vote. And very personally, last but not least, from 82 to 86, when I was a teen and we lived in the military dictatorship of Pakistan, I remember gathering around the dining table, my parents had received their absentee ballots, and we talked about voting and that right as Americans, and how sacred that was, especially considering the contrast of the country that we were living in. I'm voting against this bill because I feel keenly about our great fortune as freedom-loving Americans that we may vote. The Minnesotans in the military may vote. The Minnesotans in the Foreign Service may vote. That Minnesotans who are overseas business people, students, and missionaries may vote. On this, vote no.